Sacrifice, the sacrifice, pay the price. Okay, we are rolling. Thunder. Episode 61, sponsored by valleywideglass.com. <laughs> com. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Got Dude, I don't think your mic's in the right spot. H&M. Mine's fine. <laughs> People would probably enjoy that if you kept yours like that. Yeah, right. You went to H&M? Did you see what I sent? I sent you the de- definition... Definition yeah. of intellect. That's pretty intellect. good. Intellect. Huh? I'll have to reread. <laughs> I did read intellect it. is a term used in studies of the human mind and refers to the ability of the mind to come to correct conclusions about what is true or false and about how to solve problems. I don't like solving problems. <sighs> My intellect is off the charts. You're intellectually <laughs> retarded. What's wrong with retarded, dude? I didn't say anything. I was just ex- explaining you. <laughs> oh my god this weekend good weekend wasn't it yeah jay did good <laughs> jesus scrapped, he did actually Sergio good. scrapped well jesus jx had both his guys wrapped in triangles the kid that won the whole tournament he had wrapped in a triangle deep mm-hmm. much better than last time it was good and you yeah. picked up your mom oh yeah picked her up slammed her what uh <laughs> Oh, I, did you get to listen to the pod with Mariah? And I yeah, it was good. I we listened on the way to the, on the way to uh, the airport. To pick, we, did it finish it? <laughs> I told Danny we should listen to it with my mom in the car. <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> yeah, we finished it. Turned yeah, it would be awkward. Bad. She was not like that. Why? It, it, it's weird because it does make sense. Maybe she would look. Hmm. I don't know. I don't no, know. No, no. They're probably just that block. That Boom. block. Boom. That's Straight not blockage. Right. Straight blockage. That was a sick training session we just had, though. Yeah, Tanks it was. out of town, so we did did our competition training at, <clears throat> at your Tim's. Had Guillermo, had a couple scrappers. Yeah, there. Good that was fun. Belts, that was good. What did we do? Six eight minute rounds. One warm up five minute round, and then six eight minute rounds because the quintet's eight minutes. Yeah, my match is gonna be eight minutes. So. so I didn't look at the rules for the quintet. Can you pull guard? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't pull guard. <laughs> no, can no. I know you're not gonna. I don't think I anybody in there is going to. It's all fucking ex fighters. That's I, what I was thinking. I don't think no one will sit to their butt. Um, I don't. Oh, I didn't screenshot the rules. I thought I'd wind up. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that shit, man. Ways to win: submission, tap out, stops round, disqualification, serious foul, um, time limits: one eight minute round. If the partner's twenty kilograms, which is what forty five pounds, forty five pounds, yeah. So if the Opponent's 45 pounds heavier than Sean, then the round will only be four minutes. How um, many pounds uh, is 20 kilograms? 44. So prohibited acts. No heel hooks, no pile driving, no neck cranks, no scissor takedowns from standing position, oh. no jumping into closed guard. Hmm, that's pretty sweet. No fucking scissor takedowns? <laughs> It's going to be prohibited. No shoes. You can't wear your Reeboks. I'll Reebok them. I'm wearing no Reebok. Vaseline. No body grease. <sighs> no jewelry. You have to take out your wiener ring. <laughs> nah, they don't know what's in there. <laughs> I ain't taking that out. I ain't taking that out. That <laughs> or my tongue ring. She gets snagged. Oh. Oh, so, 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 so. Damn, no wiener rings? That sucks. Yeah, straight up. Oh, yeah, I got this in a... From a fan, I'm not gonna say the name, but they, okay, try to follow this for a minute. This is a letter they sent to to your house or the well, lab to the my house. How? Because I he, they messaged me and said, "Hey, I tried to send you something to the gym, but it got returned." I said, "Just send it to my house." You're but, weird. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Okay, what's up, Tim? Hope you get to read this. I know you're an extremely busy, man, but I feel like nowadays people are always posting negative shit, and somehow sucks at." And how someone sucks at something. I feared writing this letter thinking I was going to come off as some kind of fanboy or kiss ass, but fuck it. I want to share with you my story and how you really helped me and kept me going. As long as I can remember, my life has been hard. Come from an abusive divorce household. Lived very poor in Arkansas. Then I married, got married, 21 years old. Was pursuing my dream of MMA and blew out my left knee. With no health insurance means no surgery, so it took me about eleven months to even walk again. Oh. Then right after that, probably for, from compensating it, 
then I blew out my right knee <sighs> accidentally and went through the same situation again. In that time, my wife of seven years decided to cheat on me and steal our money, car, and Wait, leave. he was married for seven years at the age of 21? 21, after, so after being seven years. After oh, being married 20. for seven okay. years, all that time went by. Stealing on money, car, and leave me in a wheelchair in an apartment that I couldn't afford on my own. I quickly had to move out of that situation and I eventually moved to Mexico. It's only about 30 minutes from San Diego. My reasoning behind that was I learned Spanish because I used to be Mormon and was a missionary in in Spanish. I lived out there making the commute to work every day until one day some guys broke into my condo, stole everything, and tried to kill me. I got away, drove my van back to San Diego, and was homeless for two years after that. So after I blew out my knees and my wife was cheating on me, I was already a big boy at 260. But over the course of four years of hell and the fact I didn't walk for two of those years due to my injuries, I blew up to over 650 pounds. 650? 260 to 650. Just from being depressed, eating, can't walk, can't exercise. Oh, fuck. I was homeless and I can remember the day I left the urgent care. The nurse said to me that day, the number 13, and I asked, what did she mean? And she said, you have been here for 13 days. At the urgent care. Or no, you have been here 13 days this month. And that's how bad my health was. Having to go to the urgent care because I was so big. Being homeless for the two years was definitely the worst time of my life. But I spent every day, I mean like eight hours a day at the library for several reasons. The free Wi-Fi, <laughs> air conditioning, and the peace. I spent every day in there researching food, nutrition, exercise, etc. And I found a way to pay the monthly gym membership. To date, I have lost 275 pounds in three years. I call, qualified for the gastro bypass surgery. I even got a surgery date, and I thought long and hard about it and decided not to do it. I wanted to lose the weight normally, and I wanted to walk the walk. How would I ever inspire anyone if I took the easier way out? I'm not homeless anymore. I got a shitty studio apartment, but I'm a lot better off now than I was then. I am enrolled in studying sports nutrition. It's a two-year program, and after that, I plan on doing Paul Check's program, as well as being certified as a personal trainer eventually. My dream is to help other obese people get their lives back and help the people with mental disorders like mine. I have se- severe anxiety disorder, PTSD, and bipolar depression. Whew. Don't get me wrong, I have a long ass way to go, Jobin. She <laughs> said, LOL. I still got like another 200 pounds to go get down to my goal, but I'm getting there. My father... My father passed away in the last year, and it hit very, hit me very hard. Like a week ago, my mom told me she has Parkinson's and has an incurable heart condition. So essentially, she's dying slowly. I really have no family in my life and very few friends, and like no one next to me, and I was super down in the dumps, like damn near suicidal. And your podcast and Patreon vids really helped me distract enough so I could regain my composure and think rationally again. I'm not crazy. I'm not one of these guys who is out for attention. I'm just keeping it real with you. You're honestly my generation's Joe Rogan. I really believe that, and I'm so grateful that you take the time to bring your knowledge, love, and sense of humor, put it on YouTube for everyone. I love Sugar. He's amazing. Mariah and Danny are literally literal best, and you both are so lucky to have them on your lives. You both have helped me That's so much and have pulled me out of many dark moments, especially I was late. I literally have a three-year plan to save money, continue my education, weight loss, move to Arizona. My dream is to attend your BJJ school, so I hopefully I can make good on all my goals. And I can meet you all and learn BJJ. Any, anyways, bro, like I said, I hope I didn't come off as a crazy, crazy. But I had to speak with my heart and tell it like it is. Thank you, Tim, Sugar, Danny, Mariah. Much love, Jobins. Damn, what a story. That is crazy, isn't That's it? That's fucking wild. Man, but good for him who, though. Anyone, even like, yeah, our advice is good, but someone like you can get him hooked on a Paul check, dude. That motherfucker is gonna take you to a next. What's level. that? Type in his name real quick on my side. Oh, <laughs> damn, that's fucking wild. That's good for him though, dude, because it's so easy for people to be like, nah, fuck it, my life sucks. I'm yeah, done. Then, I'm done. I'm not gonna yeah. improve. I'm gonna get high. I'm gonna get drunk, and I'm gonna just be a piece of shit yeah and uh, and then like for him he's probably gonna go through phases where he's motivated ready to go i'm gonna do it and then you're also gonna come back down you're gonna be like fuck this is hard i don't yeah. know but that's when you got to make that decision yeah. and go back up it's it's like this and that's how fighting is yeah. that's how jujitsu is 
it, that's it, how it, it, everything is. It seems like that almost everything in life is like that. Like there's always going to be down. There's always going to be up. There's always, and if, it seems like if there's, an, it's always up. What's well, then you'll get bored. You you won't really. Yeah. And then it it's good that you always talk about how important just discipline is. Dude, it's the most important. It, discipline fit. equals freedom. That's the biggest quote I've ever, like, that's the, the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Earl, oh, I was fucking, I want <clears throat> to find him on Insta. Yeah, the discipline. It's so huge. Man, but it's, it's so weird. The, the whole, the psychology of it all is all crazy. But seriously, if you're surrounded by a bunch of people, you're going to be like those people. <sighs> you're surrounded by them every day. I liked what, uh. That's well, and books. Like, if you are surrounded by a bunch of like shitty people or not motivated people, just down. Like, dude, that's where you can find books for inspiration, podcasts. It's just, it's crazy. Yeah. It's so weird to me. Like lately, I'll be go home, knowing okay, like it, whatever time it is, whether it's after the first practice, after this, go home. It's like, well, I'm right when I get home. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna listen to? What am I gonna watch on YouTube? Should I stream? Should I do this? Should I, and it's weird now that I have my puppy, my baby girl. Uh-huh. It's like, I'm just going to watch her play and play with her. And then you find peace in doing nothing, just doing that. But if I didn't have her, it's like, okay, I'd probably get on a YouTube video. And I still do yeah. that. But it's just, just we finding those. We about your puppy. Oh, yeah, my baby girl. <sighs> Fucking little Pomeranian. But I'll, what, what I was trying it? to say. Oh, no, yeah, what? Keep on. Pomeranian. What I was trying to say is like it, it's so easy for us to just distract ourselves. We've talked about this before. And instead of being bored. Instead of sitting yeah. with that boredom, I'm listening to the New Earth again because uh-huh. we finished it from Eckert. But that, like that book, you can listen to four or five, six times and learn something new every time. But just be, just sit there and feel that like bored. It's weird how you go. You feel like you'll feel bored. You you can feel what bored feels like when you're sitting there. Uh-huh. It's like you feel energy in your body. Like yeah, I need to do so. But just sitting with it. Those Eckert's crazy. holy books, dude. I know. They're so good. That stillness speaks books. It's like holy. I fuck. finished that. That shit it's was so good. Fucking good. I liked what Jocko said about like what psychology is because before he used to think like psychology is just this woo woo type shit, but he's like, man, when you're when you're depressed or you have all these disorders, like research and different psychologists and different thing, and he called it like. A mind, once your car's broke, you bring it to the mechanic and you f- get it fixed. Once anything's broke, you bring it somewhere and get it fixed. That's what a psychologist is. They're a mind mechanic. Mm. They can figure out where those those problems came from or where they're stemming from way back. Like, And you don't even know that they're they're there. It's weird. Mind like, mechanic can figure it out. That's, Psychology's that's been so sweet. cool. Like, it's so interesting to me, the psychology and shit. Listening to Jordan Peterson talk or any of those guys is like, God damn, it's so fucking sweet. It's crazy to me. Like, we'll think about Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan for example, or just someone that's famous, someone that knows their shit, someone that we look up to in a way and think, oh, they probably don't deal with anxiety. They probably don't have it. Mm-hmm. They don't probably have struggles. It's like everyone does. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. everyone listening to this, not saying that they look at us and think we don't, but dude, we go through just as much shit. Oh, constantly. It's just different. It's all in your mind, though. It's all in your mind. But we go through shit every day, too. Just fucking... Some easier than others. Like, that yeah. That guy's, like, obviously going through more shit than us. Yeah. A lot harder. But we go through shit, too. It's just, like, fucking a lifelong practice. Yeah, it really is. And like we've always said, he's like, there, there's literally two things you can focus on. What you have or what you're missing. And most Oof. people are constantly focusing on what they're missing. What am I missing? What am I missing? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? What do I Where need? Where did you just hear that? That I just listened to that too. What was that? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. But did you just hear that re- like again recently? You always focus on either, you, either one or the other? I think it was in the Stillness Speaks book. Was it? Book. Maybe it was. But yeah, that's good. But it comes from, I think from just it's in our nature from when we when we didn't have all this comfort we didn't have a house we had you p- people lived in the woods cavemen had to have that always looking for what's something wrong to protect themselves from the wild or make sure they have food and make sure they have warms always worry but now we have all this comfort but our minds still do that just constantly look for shit that's wrong it's fucking weird but it's so good that we know that our minds are gonna work how we train them <laughs> We can train our minds to not like be like that. Yeah. And we can train our minds to 
that mastery book so fucking good. It's only I only started. How I literally many, read the introduction, and it's fucking so good already. How many people? So Robert Green. How many books is he? Eckert. <sighs> Studio. <laughs> I know, Robert I know. Green, I don't know. That's uh, yeah. Danny told me that's fucking uh, Ryan Holiday's mentor, which is cool. So is he an older guy or? Let's yeah. see here. Must be. Have you rolled read any Robert Green? Uh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, he has one called The Art of Seduction. You could just let him in. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He won't. He won't hit that. Go ahead, Jen. <laughs> I got. It, I got it. Oh fuck. Hey, just chill out, butter. You'll get popped. I'll pop you one. So, who turned you on to the Robert Green, Sean? Art Fairchild. Oh, yeah, he told right, me he said that right, book was right. good. I ordered it because I had just finished my book, my other book. Robert Ecker, don't Green, act like you're cool. So, is that the only book you're reading right now? Yeah. No, I'm listening to another. Uh, I'm listening. Well, I'm reading that, and I'm listening to the three questions by um. The Three Questions by that Don Miguel Ruiz. Oh, yeah. He has so many good fucking books, dude. The Don Miguel guy, too? Yeah, that's that. That's who Aubrey was talking about. That, was, that one book he was reading. No, dude. Your orders. Let's see here. Yeah, we got the triple cams, but Jesus and I got on Amazon. We bought a couple, like, cheap cameras, and we did the... Uh, we released it on uh, Patreon, but it was fucking blurry as a razor phone. So Yeah, like, it looked like Tim's vision with his glasses off. <laughs> It's pretty accurate, honestly. Well, Danny and I went to Vasa last night to do a lift. And, uh, holy fuck, dude. Some honeys. There was a couple honeys. My legs, though? Wow. If your legs felt like this, you'd be fucking bedridden for a week, guaranteed. <laughs> but we sauna and steam room every time we go there. It's so nice. You feel just like I haven't even stepped in those sauna or steam rooms. I don't think you could. I don't think you're mentally tough I'm enough. I'm too fat. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I think there's a weight limit in there. God, I was in there the other day, and all four of these guys fucking knew who I was. Oh, really? It was funny. I'm like, I'm cool. still got are it, baby. Cool? Yeah, they were pretty cool. That's nice. Did you watch Fire in Paradise? I watched Fire in Paradise and Devil Next Door. Watched <laughs> both of them. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Dude, Fire, Fire in, in Paradise. Paradise gave me anxiety. Dude, how I'm like, brutal what? is that? <laughs> oh, it's on Netflix. You guys got to watch it. You, it it's... It's a good little documentary, and it shows real fucking footage of people getting surrounded, like, in the middle of a fucking fire. Yeah, it burned a million. It happened in 2003. It burned a million 20,460 acres. Um, Jesus. 24 lives were lost. No, more than that, wasn't it, or no? I think this is the right one. I think this is the right one. 24 lives was 3,710 homes were destroyed. They just like the, the, the wildfire blew up and spread way quicker than they thought. And then all of a sudden the whole town was surrounded in fire and cars are trying to get out and the cars are backed up. And then they, they figured out they're just stuck. They all had a lay on. There was a cement pavement or cement that they all had to lay on and the fire went over them they all put a big blanket over the fire went over them and they got back up they're like holy it's on netflix right yeah and they have real footage of people <sighs> like ah, this imagine if you had your had a, a baby imagine if you had a fucking baby and you're like oh ah, fuck that would be and just like and you're that, helpless just like that one mom said like i was hoping we die of suffocation rather than burning than burning oh my she god she prayed she's like that's a hard prayer to make that you die Damn, dude. I would have just peed on myself. That was sad. Oh, I would have just been pissing, dude. Just drinking and pissing. But the fucking devil next door. I. What do you think? It's so hard to say. I. I you look at that guy and you're like... He's, well, it's weird because I, I was like, why would the... What was it? Not What was the, the K or the SSI or whatever? The Soviet Union? I don't know. Whoever was trying to frame him. I'm like, oh yeah. Why would they try to frame this random guy if the guys are actually already dead? Why would they try to frame him? Yeah. But then it come even if he was a Nazi guard, it's like fuck. The Devil Next Door is on Netflix. It's a documentary series about John Demjanchuk. He's an accused Nazi extermination camp guard known as <laughs> Ivan the Terrible, who spent years living in Cleveland. So he somehow he shipped over. I think he said boat. 
shipped over to the U.S. and has a normal family, but he was the extermination camp guard. So he was the guard who literally would put kids, put women into the chambers, to the burning chambers as a Nazi. And there's people accusing him, looking at him like, you are the fucking devil. They say he's just the worst human on planet Earth. Just didn't give a shit. And just would burn thousands of people. Go but how could them. he sit there in that spot and be like, I didn't do it. That Well, it's it's surprising too when his family's like, no, that's not our dad. That's not our dad. Yeah, that show tripped me out but pretty the, bad. But the picture was literally identical. I, it probably... But they're saying it's photo... It was photo... Or not photo... It was, you watched the whole I series? Watched, it's all eight episodes, right? You watched eight? Yeah. Damn, I didn't even watch all eight. Dude, well, it, because, okay, he got... He got sentenced in Israel. So he was lived in the United States. They flew him to Israel. He got sentenced. They said, yes, this is him. It got appealed, so it went up to the highest level. Yeah, yeah. And they said, no, it's not him. So then he comes back to America, lives for another 30 years, or tw- some, not maybe not 30, but another long-ass time. Mm-hmm. And then th- they said, okay, you're not Ivan the Terrible, but you were a Nazi. But you were there. You were a guard there. So then they... St- Flew him to Germany, and then he got sentenced in Germany when he was ninety-one, and then died there. And and I guess so that like that was it was That's crazy, crazy. It was nuts. That show is crazy. Devil Next Door on Netflix. Yeah, and it shows good. the real footage of him in his real going through all that shit. Yeah, that's a good ass flick. When I get into something, I just get into something. Seriously, that's why I'm a dog whisper. It's so funny watching Petrie play with my daughter. Ducky. Oh yeah, how did how? Oh yeah, you got, we found her on Craigslist. You went and got her that night. Yeah, we found her Saturday night at bowling or at dinner, and then I went and picked yeah. her up at bowling. She's puking all night the first night. I think they were just feeding her shitty food. It's crazy because I bought all three of my dogs on Craigslist from sketchy ass people. Yeah, all three of them, and they've all turned out fine. Well, no, you haven't got any shots either, right? Well, they said it came with the first shots. I'm like, ah, right, cool. And I remember I went and took Petria, and they were like trying to sign me up. They're like, it's like $1,000. We'll do the shot. I'm like, I don't have a fucking thousand bucks. He's good. If he dies, he dies. And they've fucking all been fine. Mm. Well, I'm trying to fucking get Eckert's nuts cut off. But you I'm should like, do that for sure. Why? He's get, Does he pee on stuff? No, but he, he's starting to hump shit. Kush was humping bad. He fucking, he's wanting to fuck something. He could fuck Ducky. Oh, yeah right. This big hoss is D. Yeah right. His wiener. Upcoming tiny. fights December seventh. Alistair Overeem against this big ass black dude. Who? New guy. Oh, I sure. know. Yeah, just like you were Their saying. Their main event. Ricky Simon, Rob Font. That's a cool fight. Ooh, that's a good scrap. Uh, let's see here. UFC two forty five. Usman Colby, who he got. I got Colby. Danny and I are going to that shit. It's going to be sweet. nuts. Col- uh, I'm going to pick Colby, too. I think Colby gets it done. Volkanovski, Max. I think Max gets it done. Probably. Volkanovski's so short. He's good, And Max is just going to pop him, pop him, pop him. Pop, 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 I can drop it. Amanda Nunes, Jermaine Durandamy. Can't pick against Amanda. No. Jose Aldo and Marlon Moraes. Fuck. I'm picking days. Marlon just because he's going down to 35. And I don't know how it's yeah. going to affect him. Well, wasn't it? Well, didn't he almost die all the time going to forty-five? That's what I thought. Let's go to thirty-five. Yeah, it fucking seems smart. Peter Yan versus Uriah, sweet fight. I think oh, I hate picking against Uriah because he's my boy, but I think Peter gets it done. I think it's God, skillful. Uriah just has those hands by his hips. He might fucking crack you. Mm-hmm. Ben Saunders, Matt dude. Peter's Brown. boxing is really, really fucking good. Like he's got good high-level boxing. Brandon Moreno, blah, blah, blah. Did you, hmm. It's pretty good. Did you see Chiesa's fight in RDA? Fuck yeah, it's a sweet it's a fight, fight there too. Next fight, December 21st, Saturday. Brian Ortega, <laughs> Chen Sung Jung. I was in Japan, right? Oh yeah, it is. I mean, Craig Kai. Yeah, you watched that uh, vlog I sent you about the Andy Ruiz? Yeah, yeah. Holy That's December 7th, fuck. rematch. If you haven't watched it, Dazen came out with a vlog. Eckert, nope. Eckert, come here, bud. bud That's here. good. Uh, Andy Ruiz, it, they did a blog of when he knocked out Anthony Joshua, and they kind of go through the whole week. Oh, God. And Andy Ruiz, just a short, little, fat Mexican, just like, 
like kind of a baby dorky Looks like face. he's always at his fifth birthday party. Anthony, Anthony Joshua is like, holy, what a freak Six, show. Yeah. Freak show. 6-7. Fucking just yoked. Long Fuck dude. Out Fuck out here, it's sweet watching Reese when he... Unloads those combos. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> just basic. He's well, fucking fast. He, uh, yeah, that's December 7th. Did you watch Deontay Wilder versus Ortiz? Or, I fucking yeah. I was trying to stay awake. I fell asleep. I fell asleep round. after fourth round. You did too. Fuck, I was I in bed up. watching. I'm like, I gotta watch. I couldn't do it. That's funny. Can't stay up past ten thirty. I'm like, fucking start pecking out. God, me neither, dude. It's a good habit though, dude. Sleep. I tell, I tell people, if you want to improve anything and everything, start with your sleep. For real. If you want to improve your fucking your brain sleep For everything real dude it's the best no shit lie. ever dude ain't no lie ain't no lie <laughs> did you watch that whole interview with the epstein uh guy if you guys oh, don't yeah. know what epstein is oh, i didn't do. know sugar didn't know but epstein is some higher up billionaire that runs around with all these other higher that ups, no like, one knows how he made his money no one knows jesus really no one knows understands how he made so much money there's like there's pictures of him with shit. trump Bill Clinton. Clinton, all these people. And it was pretty much proven that he would get 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds over at his house. That's why he got convicted. Well, and his girlfriend would find him. Help, yeah. Go go to the trailer park, whatever, find a little scrub girl. Bring the girls <laughs> over to his house. Say, you're going to be a model or you're going to learn how to massage. And then fucking he'd Epst- flip Epstein over with his little boner. Him. It's crazy. And then he'd have other higher-ups fuck him. And then have blackmail on him. That had blackmail on him, so that's how he made his money. They just never. He was a billionaire, basically, but they don't understand. Or I think he was half a billionaire, like five hundred yeah. million. What all would have came out if he stayed alive? What well, evidence came out? They got an <laughs> autopsy. Like the family's like, there's no way he hung himself. The yeah. cameras all of a sudden are off. Uh huh. There's a garbage bag in there. Like, a, how do you fucking? Well, in the guy that the the guy that did the autopsies or whatever said he was strangled. Like his a trach- bone broke. His tracheas and shit was like all torn up. It's crazy that it's just not talked about anymore. Like that's just done. Rogan still talks about it, shit. But yeah. I wonder if Donald's like butts tight or Bill Clinton, like, because Hillary was covering a bunch of it <laughs> his up, right? Butts just. That's what Alex her. Jones was outside of Google saying. You guys support fucking Hillary. Hillary covered all this shit for Epstein. Dude, and he's just crazy. yelling. Crazy. That shit, he probably knows a lot more than people give him credit for. It's like, nah, he's crazy. Alex Jones, yeah. He is a fucking so loud and obnoxious, though. It's like, holy shit. God, dude. I'm so fucking cool. But imagine Hillary and Bill <laughs> knowing if that shit gets out, we're fucked. Bill we're probably go. gonna. Yeah, but Bill will be right in the pen. But he'll be like, pfft. Like, Had some fuck sex. It, I'll fuck this little fucking black dude. I'm Bill Clinton. <laughs> yep. Don't be drooling and shit. Yeah. <laughs> that Carl Jung guy I was talking about, the psychiatrist and psychoanalyst, he founded analytical psychology. A master in analytical psychology. He work w- was influ- influential in fields of psychiatry, anthropology, ar- archaeology, literature, philosophy, religious studies. He was born in 1875. Damn. How was he that fucking smart? <sighs> Dude, I don't know, but I feel like we have the same genes. Huh? <laughs> Sugar Einstein. Sugar, no, Sugar Young. Sugar Young. Dude, genes and shit, though. They're saying we can turn them on and off. We're not programmed like they thought we were. To where, like, you're pro. this is how your brain is. This is how it's going to be. They're saying you can change your brain. It's not just how it. It's not just like, this is how you are. This is how you are when you're this old. It's like, you can change it. What do you mean? Like when, if say, if you, something traumatic happened when you were younger? Well, that mastery book there said he, in the beginning it's saying like we used to think that your genes were the same. Like your gene, this is your genes, but you can ch- turn genes on and off huh. by I don't know if it's traumatic stuff or by studying or by focusing meditation. You can, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know. It's fucking crazy. But I'm not, I can't explain it really, but. Shit's wild, man. Shit's wild. Did you ever listen to that uh, Joe Rogan podcast with Israel? That second one? No. It's really fucking good, dude. What's good about it? Did we talk? Oh, I think we did talk about it, but that was a podcast that didn't record. 
Oh yeah, we recorded a sweet hour podcast. We're like, wow, it's gonna be a hit. Someone's gonna blow us up. <sighs> hey, I swear, this said, is the one. I didn't press record. This is the one. Oh. No, but that Israel podcast was this fucking is the good. One. <laughs> he talked about. He's like, no one teaches you how to be famous. After his fights, you'd get depressed. Like his recent fights, he'd be like, blow up, have all this stimulation. I'm the fucking man. Then he'll go home. And be like, Fuck. and that's the that boredom I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, with the, he's like, I'm kind of depressed, but he's like, I, I got a fucking therapist, mm-hmm. and I figured, they, and that therapist helped me with the tools to figure out, okay, if, and then just like that fucking Aubrey Marcus thing that you sent me, like if you you're gonna have that chase, you're gonna have that high, oh. but you need to know you're gonna have that, you're gonna come down, you're gonna come down mm-hmm. from that, you're gonna feel low, you're gonna feel that like kind of sad, the depressionist, but you have to have the tools to be like, okay, I can, I'm okay with that. But he talks about that. That was a really good podcast. Yeah, and that's the fucking truth. No one teaches you how to be famous. Even being around you and stuff in Vegas and all the people and Holy every like shit. superstar. Like, you come home thinking I'm better than everyone because everyone's fucking like oh, looking at you yeah, like you're yeah. some like yeah. thing. How do you not start to believe it? But but dude, I went going through all this made me set back and be like, whoa, I didn't like just look at myself different because i can feel myself on the, i don't know it's weird but well and reading fucking helps reading, reading the helps the podcast helps too. it's like fuck i don't want to get into that mindset but you can see why mike tyson like even if he did rape those girls yeah. or he went through that shit it's like he think the media made him that creature yeah they made him like that dude and before because back then mike tyson's in this millions and millions of dollars girls all this shit it's not like he's learning or reading or like learning from smart people. It's like fuck. It no. was weird that doc that you, there's this thing called the rise and fall of Mike Tyson. It's, it's a little documentary on YouTube. I watched it, but he was like 15 and he was pretty fucking smart. Like really? talking about, I, it, I don't know. He's like, I don't want this fan. I don't want it. Like that. I don't want that lifestyle. And then like he just got forced into it. He just got forced into it. Custom Auto was like the biggest thing. The biggest distraction is girls women and then he goes all through that shit gets goes to jail for rape all that stuff and then he says like god and, he, and then he died obviously custom audit and he was like damn he was right about all that he was telling That's me crazy well and even like that epstein guy you get to that level where you're so fucking loaded and you pretty much feel invincible. What's that next rush? What's that next thing that's good that you can't have that you want? And they're like, they, all for him, it's like, I'm going to fucking get with young girls and I'm going to get away with it. Just feeling invincible. Thousands. They were saying three a day. Like he would ha- fuck a girl and they would he would pay them, say, hey, go get me another girl. Holy and that girl fuck. that came out said she got, she felt horrible. She's like, I probably got around 50 girls to go there. And then he sent one to the like the British leader, right? Uh, we don't supposedly. And there's a picture of him and her. And now there's an interview out with that guy, Paul or no Andrew, Prince Andrew. Yeah, I don't and know. They, it's well, hard to say when you too, watch it because then I, I I see those girls getting interviewed. I'm like, I wonder if these girls would do this same thing if there was zero money involved. Yeah, if they were like, going to get any money out of it, so would they still just be like, this is, or just be like. I, that one girl she looks like she's been like I don't know that picture she's all like smiling with him it's like time. are you having a good I'm not saying it's right I'm saying because she was that was she 17 at that time yeah like I don't know that looked like a genuine smile but that could have been right that could have been before they could have been party yeah. hey let's take a picture and then it happened landed. and then it's like whoa shit that is true. like she didn't know that was gonna happen could have been like that I don't know this shit's crazy man that's just crazy you record your night routine that'll be good. That's the thing, too. Every time I wake up, I'm like, God, what's going to... I know if I do my morning routine, my day's going to be good. I mm-hmm. fucking know it. I know mm-hmm. if I just meditate, maybe just do a little movement, do my shit, I know my day's going to be good. But some days I wake up and I'm like... I'm good. Grab my fucking phone. Dude, my neck, like, I heard it... This I heard it all. Anytime I get darsed hard or guillotined hard, like, fuck. And when you wake up, when your neck hurts... You're like, you're like I'm so used to uh, my neck fucking uh, hurting so much. Dude, yeah, but if your neck was as little as mine, it's another level I was, of pain. I was born little. But dude, you like are thick. Dude, it's I not felt, like you I, just do neck exercises. I, I, oh, God. I, don't, should, I, I don't want to show people this picture, but it's fucking embarrassing. Is it a thick or skinny little bitch neck? You want to see what the fuck I look like when I started fighting? Well, don't act like you just do neck exercises all day. Tell me I ain't just yoked. I'll send... 
<laughs> oh my god. I almost don't even want to post this for the people to see. Is it going to be embarrassing or is it just you get too much pussy? Embarrassing. Top left. Too much pussy. That's 100% it, boy. <laughs> The fuck was this? That, that, like that was like no, that was Great Northern Fight Club. That was when I first moved to Missoula and started training in Missoula. Damn, how old was were you? Was I shred town or no? You were shredded. You look like shredded how did I, chicken. You know the fact that the, the fact that the fact that I even got puss though. Here, Jesus. I don't know how you got puss. Honestly, I don't either, dude. Dude, it's it's personality. I'll send it to you. Don't send you can me, post it. Up. You right. can post it on the thing, but at that time, I'm like, I'm bad as fuck. I've always, I was always out. insecure about my body, though. <laughs> no wonder why, dude. I don't know that picture doesn't fuck make justice. You, I think you're more jacked than that. Oh, God. Dude, I don't know, man. At least you do have a neck, <sighs> a little bit, not much. Holy shit! Why would the Lord <sighs> make anyone look that way? <laughs> it was Jehovah testing us he's testing he us he was testing me dude i was literally thinking about this the other day like i'm sexy whatever but like <laughs> <laughs> no I'm kidding, but like girls that are just so hot and like say an ugly girl looks at her and she's like god she's so lucky yeah. it's like that girl's gonna go through so much anxiety and stuff just because she's pretty about like maybe on social media her life's just gonna be a easier for her, they think. But she's probably gonna go through so much shit because she's so pretty and so hot. hot. I don't know. And like that ugly girl might not have to go through as much shit. Well, just like kind of Mariah brought up the other day, I'm like, because I fucking pussed out talking to this hot girl at Vasa. I was Pussy. like, she's too fucking hot. She's gonna puke if she looks at me. I feel and that's like me that. being insecure. But she's like, you'd probably be surprised how many hot girls are insecure. Because maybe no one talks to that girl because she's so hot and they never say anything. And then you go talk to but her. But if I like, fucking go like, roll fuck. it up, like. But it's hard at the gym it because the, the headphones are in. Well, dude, so they got to take off their headphones and pause their shit to see. And, and hey, we always, you gorgeous. always talk me into it, and I go talk to them, and then I fucking follow them on Instagram. They're like, God first, Jesus first, Lord Moses, well, Noah's Ark is. first. If he tests, I was on tested. Noah's Ark with Noah, Moses. It's like, shit, bitch, you're fucking. Sorry you have no faith, brother. <laughs> dude, I have faith. In what? myself shit have but faith in the lord above every time i when follow a girl at boss they're like married for eight years fucking god first it's like hide where the slot well i like what art was saying he was saying in, instead of going up to a girl and like giving her a compliment go up go up to her almost like you're her. Oh, oh, no almost like you're interviewing and like you're the product is she good enough for you like see what she's into hey you eat a healthy <laughs> Hey, what kind of snacks you been eating? <laughs> you eat organic. <laughs> I know, but I'm like, how do you do that too? It's like, it's hey, so... well, yeah, it's how do you do that? Well, and the thing is, anywhere you see hot chicks, it's like, um, I mostly see hot chicks at the store, Vasa, and the coffee shop. Yeah, coffee shop, they're usually doing something, so you don't do you bug them. Um, Vasa, they usually have headphones in, but you never know that could make their fucking. But day it's if nice. You talk to well, them. it's not nice. It's different though because we have perfect girls right now, so it's like it's different than we're like i don't know it's a different mindset like yeah, a mind switch that sure. like if you're art he can't do it either though he's but he said he, just like he said he's like my my goals in are the month are really get my nutrition down That's, yeah his nutrition down his sleep down he's like i got my sleep down pretty good like and obviously in all these things i can get better at still but he's like i'm gonna write down my goal is to get better at talking to girls because it's definitely an art it is being an able art. to talk to girls and i've mastered that shit the fuck, dude? Licky emoji, fucking eggplant emoji. Talking to girls on fucking. I just go up to him like this. <laughs> well, I'm like, what do you say to a girl? You're really good looking. Okay, now what next? Hey, you're really good looking. What's up, buddy? This really fast. And they're like, well, no, it's hard yeah. to tell, like, if a girl. If you get the same, because like I'll go up to a girl, not go up to a girl. We'll talk to a girl. I'm like, damn, she wanted me. And Danny's like, eh, I don't think so. Or opposite, other way around. I'm like, ah, she didn't want me. And Danny's like, I thought she thought you were cute. I thought she liked you. So it's all. It's like, is she right? Am I right? Usually, I'm right. <laughs> Dude, yeah, girl. But the thing is, yeah. Well, yo te como sin b taco pela. I got. I ordered my Spanish book again. Remember how I was into it for so long? Uh-huh. I was doing duolingo. I was doing it for like a long time. And like I got pretty good, and Danny and I can talk a little bit, but 
I'm ordering it again. I'm, I feel like I'm going to keep going through phases. Probably you'll get it. And then it, next, actually. eventually, I'll be like speaking it perfecto. See? I know. Gosh. They were talking New about languages. In, uh, I think in. I think it was a Jordan Peterson video saying how good it is for your brain to speak two languages. Yeah. Like, it's so good for your brain. Your brain literally looks so much different than someone's brain that just speaks one language. They said, like, it just works different. That's crazy. It's crazy to me to think, like, when Danny has the thoughts in her head, like, I wonder if they're... Because, like, when I'm even just listening to Spanish music, like I have been the last couple, like, weeks, like, I'll be thinking in my head those Spanish lyrics, which means I'm kind of thinking in Spanish, just like the... But it's weird, like, I'm wondering, because she's, I don't know, it's just weird to think about. That is weird, boy. It is super weird, man. <laughs> it's super weird, straight up. Come well, on. this week's Thanksgiving. What day? It's Thursday. I'm probably just going to exercise. Fun. I'm going to, Thursday morning, I think we might go to the my gym, though, maybe with Bridger, invite Alex and Cass, and go just try to do, roll, do a workout. Roll with Bridge. Get some sick guillotines in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guillotines? No. I don't know, man. I'm probably just going to this day at Lord, man. Straight up 100. It is Shut a day the fuck for up, the Lord. Man. Dude, our nightly routine. I'm trying to fucking be serious. I know. It's like he no, can't. No, I'm trying like, to hey, be Zeus. serious. And my glasses are sideways like this because my nose is broke and my fucking glasses were in the dryer. So I'm like talking like, yeah, I'm trying to stay consistent. With my-. And Jerry's going. Pfft. I'm like, it's what, It's not just bitch? your nose. It's your face is bent. It's from, from getting choked too many times. Was it a good night routine, though? I think so. Jay said it sucked. <laughs> Jay speaks the truth, baby. Nothing Jay's like, dude, this truth. is what you do at night, you fruit loop. No, I think it's going to be good. I think it'll be good. 100. 100. It will be 100%. Um, oh, it yeah. W- when are we release that, that uh, night vid vlog? Jay, a couple days. <laughs> Next <month>. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably like December-ish. They'll be on Patreon. Tomorrow. Sugar says his night routine's so good. I don't know. I'll be the judge when I watch the video. Dude, if we if you wore your aura ring, we compared sleep. I guarantee mine's better. My aura ring shot. I don't. Mine it. shot too, and I had to order a new one, so I did, and I got it, and now yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but you said you're gonna email him for me. And then you literally told me like, God, I was in the email too. I could just email him. I'm like, yeah, that was the last time we had a conversation about it. <sighs> and now I'm right. I'll but try. dude, my sleep last night was so good, and it's. If you get, because, okay, you can go and do, stre- like, if you, even if you just dedicate five minutes to stretching, you'll sleep a little bit better. But, every, like, we've been doing 15 minutes audible, mm-hmm. putting the sleep timer, and then listening to a book for 15 minutes and rolling, stretching. And usually we keep, after the, that, we just stay in there and keep going. You sleep so much better. That and hydration, dude. I wonder, yeah, for sure. I wonder, like, because you stretch after you eat. Yeah, I stretch from before. See, that. I wonder if that has something to do like moving, because I feel the same way after I do a little stretching and moving and rolling after you eat instead of just literally eating, going flapping your fat ass in bed. Mm-hmm. Do you guys watch show before bed or not? No, we haven't been doing. That's one thing. Like, if we watch, well, I watch the Devil Next Door and Parad- Fire in Paradise. Those are during the day, and it's nice because Danny can do that now. Yeah, it is nice. Are you surfing? Because we only do it on the weekends. Are you surfing right now? <laughs> <laughs> you were surfing Dude I bet you just come home Fucking grab an ice cream bar Go, <laughs> <laughs> go lay in bed Click click, click. Just sit my fast And then and tweet God me. I'm meditated for like four hours <laughs> yeah, Just got done reading a whole book And hitting hundred sit ups <laughs> Dude it's crazy though You can literally tweet that shit Like oh, you could just be fake as fuck I, Well the thing is Still I don't get it The people even on on any of these platforms that don't have a picture of themselves and sit there and talk shit and be negative and talk shit. It's like, <sighs> holy... You got like, only you such a The bitch. only thing you can do is feel bad for them. I do. We were at Costco yesterday, me and my mom, and Costco was the most insane. It's like It was like the last day of this coupon, and it's right before Thanksgiving. You couldn't like find a parking spot, and I'm pushing the cart, and I like, almost run into this guy. It's like cart to cart and this guy you can tell gets real mad like Whoa. i didn't feel any sort of way besides like i'd knock you out like that's the only thought that we, i think yeah. i'd knock you out we kept going my mom was like god it's so weird people just like it's like can't you tell it's like so packed i'm like mom you gotta remember like that guy's probably worked eight hours today mm-hmm. doesn't enjoy his life and he's probably not happy but even just tell my mom that i remember thinking that too yeah i'm like god you gotta remember like that guy's probably with his wife who he doesn't like yep he, I worked a job he didn't like, and yeah. now he's at Costco. He doesn't want to be here. 
and I would have sure. knocked him out. So it's like Deal his that sucked, like that. and I have face tattoos. And, he, and I was like, oh, sorry. Like he's like, and I <laughs> yeah, like that. And I was like, I should have just said, do you want me to knock you out, or do you want to chill out for a little bit? God, it's like hey. people need to know. I think like okay, that guy can fuck me up. That guy can fuck me up. Well, it's hard for you because you're smaller. People are like. Ugh. I'd fuck that little boy up. Oh, I know. They I think go, they'd grab a whole... Yeah, they think they'd rough flare you. Flare my neck. Honestly, does Eckert think I'm his dad? <laughs> no, he doesn't. We have the same hair, same color. It's like... Put your head by his real quick. <sighs> his head's way bigger and his neck's way bigger. And he weighs 70 <laughs> pounds. Dude, don't tell me. <laughs> Uh, you guys product <laughs> order on these for sale or product.com uh, cause this is a perfect cum towel this is JX's product Ew. towel <laughs> what I'm being real I come in my rubber <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I used <laughs> no, <bitch. laughs> okay so we got this trip coming up quintet next week damn so we're leaving damn. Wednesday that's crazy yep. it should be lit man. yeah that will be fun be Wednesday lit. Wayans. Okay, that'll be sweet. So should no no. Oh, Wednesday's our way. So and then Thursday's Wayans? event. Friday's UFC Wayans. Uh, I don't know. They didn't tell it's me. Gonna be so fun. They literally told me. I'm like, hey, do I have to weigh a certain a certain amount? And my manager said, no, your team just has to be under a certain weight. It's like I don't know how much fucking rumble. I don't know how much these guys weigh. So I don't, I don't know. We have to weigh under 730 30 pounds. Rumble weighs about four hon. Yeah, no shit. So I, I tech- didn't even know Rumble knew jujitsu. They don't need to when you're that big. <laughs> no shit. I text so my man. My last like three or four tests have all came back negative, and the ones before that were all under the threshold. And I said, "So what's can I? Am I fighting in January or what?" And he said, "Usada will give you a role, a ruling. Hopefully, we can get you on the December 18th uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission hearing to get to get updated. If not, we'll have to get on the January hearing, which means you'll probably fight in February or March." I'm like, holy fuck, how many negative, t- how many tests do I have to pass to be able to fight? But hopefully it's almost done. Like, I was planning on fighting January 18th. I don't think that's even a card anymore. So hopefully somewhere in January. I'd like to fight in Vegas, but at this point, if they're like, if it's in another state, I don't fucking really care as long as we go scrap. Man above is testing you. <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. He does, that son that. of a bitch. I miss uh, the the show Righteous Gemstones. Oh, yeah. oh, that was a good one. That this good this one. show you gotta check it out if you're bored ever. Entourage, it's fucking funny. We're literally on the fifth season already. Entourage, that's the one you keep telling me to watch. It's fun. Fu- if you it. just want to just feel goofy, I always just feel goofy. Not always. That's true. That is true. When you I weren't feel... smoking. You didn't feel goofy. I'm not smoking day. right now. I'm not smoking. I didn't smoke last night. God, that's probably my sleep was so fucking good. 100%. I swear to God, when you go to bed sober and stretched and hydrated. But still, we haven't like, test uh, out, tested out the organic marijuana. Yeah, but to hear in Dr. fucking or Matthew Walker say it, it affects your REM sleep, and I just. It really does. I really want to. I, I followed him on Twitter because I want to message him and ask him something about. Fight ask camp. him to come over and just maybe talk hey, to you before you go to sleep. Just read me a book. No, I want to ask him about my fight camp. Say, if I'm fighting at 9 p.m., how many weeks out do I have to start my circadian rhythm to start being like, okay, 9 p.m. is not time to go to sleep. It's time to Prime, prepare. Yeah. Like, would fight week work or mm-hmm. would four weeks out, would six weeks out? But he didn't follow me on Twitter. I almost want to ask Rogan if he can get me in touch. But I, mm-hmm. I feel like he'd be like, shut up, bitch. You never know. You never know. <sighs> It's crazy how Jordan Peterson was also saying if you can remember your dreams, like remember your dreams, that you're probably a pretty creative person. Do you want to hear my dream I had the other night? Sure. Vivid as fuck. I beat Henry Cejudo for the title in Bellator. Damn. Broke his foot or something. It was weird. (laughs) But after the night after, Benson Henderson and Henry were both at Walmart. And I was there, and I was talking to him, and it was I'm like, and I woke up, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and go, and how do you think? Like, where does that even come from? That's fucking funny. I love sexual dreams when I fuck someone I know, because then it's like, oh, damn, fun. we had a little something. Like, I'm wondering if they thought that like that too. Probably not. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Well, it's cool how Jordan Peterson was saying he also brings you, gets you into a hypnosis stage. And he said it's really you can't be hip hip 
hypnotized hypnotized. if you're not willing to be hypnotized if you're like i'm not gonna be hypnotized i'm not you're not gonna be able to because he has to you you have to be so relaxed and he goes through each part of your body okay relax your your he explains how Penis. he does it, and then he brings you into that dream, tells you to go into that dream, and then, uh, you know what I mean? So I wonder how much an hour cool. he charges, like for, for even just doing that, say yeah. a thousand. I don't know. Who knows? It's crazy that he was just went somewhere for depression or whatever, like checked himself into a depressive. Recently? Yeah. That's fucking nuts. Like months, a couple months ago. Who knows what ta- how much it has to do with him fucking doing that meat diet. That meat diet, traveling all the time, like stimulated, sleep schedule is not as yeah, good. And you're getting no vegetables. Zero. The meat did? No, the pills. Oh, the pills were. Ambient price, sleep pills. Oh, yeah, that's why it was. That's why it was, because his wife was sick. Because I remember her talking about it on his podcast, his daughter. Saying she's doing good, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. Dude, I can't imagine having to go through. It's crazy that we're all going to have to go through some kind of death event. Like our parents, oh, I know. a loved one. Like I think about that shit. I'm like, oh, God. Well, I always, I always remind myself. I've listened to that gratitude uh, lesson by Sam Harris so many times. And anytime I'm sitting there with Mariah, like we were sitting at Costco and we got kind of in a little fight earlier. And I'm sitting there and we're just kind of pissed off. I'm like... I told her, I'm like, imagine if I died yesterday, how much you'd give to be in this moment right here. Or imagine if you died yesterday, how much we'd give just to be in this moment, going to Costco together. We have nothing really to worry about. We'd give anything. Oh, ain't that the truth? And then you can just bring yourself back to That's being a like, good okay, one. let's fucking enjoy That's a good this one. moment. But it's the the book I was reading, the that Don Miguel Ruiz one is talking about how like after we die, we just go back to life. Like we're all just life. After we're, we're not going to go anywhere, it should be like, it can, shouldn't be scary. It's like, it's just life. It runs through us, we die. No, we, just we go, go back to paradise. To and well, it's weird because he explained Adam and Eve in a totally different way than I've ever heard it. Like, Adam and Eve were like, where there was no, you didn't have that voice in your head, no negative, no like that. But then we ate the apple and that was like. I don't know. You, you, I have to read. I don't know if you like it though. It's a, Wait, who is it again? The Don Miguel Ruiz oh, okay. book. But it, he explained Adam and Eve in a totally different way than I've ever. So I seen someone tag me and tag us in that the other day. They got they got one of the Don Miguel Ruiz books on. I seen it on Instagram. They tagged it. I don't know. I think it, that that's the kind of book that's for some people and it's not for some people. Like it can turn some people off the way he writes, yeah. but. That's why, like, even Jordan Peterson was saying about Carl Jung's books. He's like, you read those, and unless you kind of know deeply what he's talking about, that will just go so far over your head. You'll be like, what the fuck is this guy even talking about? He's that just deep. I'm yeah. Like, Damn, that's fucking crazy. And that that's motherfucker it. was born in 1875. That's crazy, man. What are we at, Jay? 52. I want to get JX uh, mic'd up. So when he does a little, he spits in a little he once in a while. some knowledge. Young Jay. Yeah. Well, fucking. Young Jesus. And we have the third mic. We'll start doing it. Uh, just joke. Let me get. Uh, Jobins, Jaginas. GG. Peace. Check us out on Patreon. We got a bunch of extra shit that we're doing. Bunch of it. Uh, thanks, ValleyWideGlass.com, episode 61. Pieces. Doses. Doses.